Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie Phantom here, and you know what? It's Monday. Time for some horror news. Now, before we even get started, let me just go ahead and tell you this. I said it before, and I meant it then. Uh, yeah, the Phantom's got a new job, and uh, it keeps me out at some crazy hours of the night. Like, I don't get home till really, really late sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really had a chance to hit the sites up that much. So, uh, over the weekend, when I finally had some time off, I, I hit a couple sites or whatever. So, uh, you guys are getting kind of like the bottom of the barrel shit right here. I didn't really get a good chance to really comb it over like I normally do. Uh, so, yes, the quality of this one, it's going to be right down here. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And what I mean, and literally, like, I would try to skip some of this shit right here if I could. Sometimes you just don't have a good week of news at all, and you just go ahead and grab what you can, but... There's a lot of shit on here that would have been skip-worthy, believe me. Like, uh, this first little piece of uh, news. Uh, I, I can't believe this is even news, but the, Friday, the uh, Friday the 13th script has been turned in. Oh, that's how that's how desperate we are for some Friday the 13th news. It's just shit like, it's turned in, and they're going to look it over. It is fucking newsworthy. And it works, because I ain't going to lie, I saw that headline. I was like, well, fuck, I want to know what the... What do you mean it's turned in? What, what else is there to it? No, there's nothing else. That was literally... That sentence should have been the entire thing, but they actually went off the whole article of, like, it's turned in, and, you know, we can't wait. I'm like, all right. But, uh, yeah, so it's turned in. So, I mean, there is progress on it, so that's, that's a big plus, and I'm really happy for that, but... Uh, yeah, that's about all we got right there. Uh, saw the title of this movie. It's coming out. Uh, there's already a short film, uh, and they're stretching it to a feature-length film. Uh, and I'm probably mispronouncing this wrong, but uh, El Giante. Anybody remember that wrestler who fought The Undertaker back in, like, 93? That's what it reminds me of. Uh, and it is a wrestling pick. It's basically it's like taking Texas Chainsaw Massacre and mixing it with pro wrestling. Where this wrestler, this uh, luchador wrestler, uh, defeats his opponents, and then the family drags him away. <coughs> Sorry, and then they fucking skin him and eat him. El Giante coming coming come to a theater near you, so keep looking out for that. Um, <coughs> I may have reported on this a while back ago. I don't really remember, uh, but I remember hearing about it. The uh, American Psycho, the musical was uh, over in London right now, was well, finally making its way to the U.S. And apparently it's actually getting pretty good reviews and everything. So if you're a fan of uh, American Psycho and you like the theater and want to combine the arts with uh, some horror, well, there you go. American Psycho the Musical coming to the U.S. Check it out. So, uh, boom. Uh, supermodel Naomi Campbell. I think she also does some reality TV, but I, know, I didn't know who the fuck Naomi Campbell was. But apparently she's been added to American Horror Story Hotel. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I should have a drink before I jumped out here. I ain't gonna lie, my throat is all scratchy now. Uh, I, I got a few more to go through. I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna power through, damn it, because the Phantom, he loves you guys, and I'm just gonna go through this shit. Uh, we already knew that they were gonna make another Jurassic World. Jurassic World 2 is now slated for June 2018. <coughs> Fuck me. Um, uh -huh. oh, this is gross. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go now. Sorry, I just fit up some lung butter here. Ah. Hashtag Phantom's Lung Butter. Uh, anyways, shit, got a drink on the way in there. God damn it. Anyways, um, so yeah, no, uh, Jessica World 2. I'm surprised at the amount of hate I'm hearing from this movie. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I liked it. I thought it was real good. This and um, Terminator Genesis, like, they're just getting shit on randomly and I'm like they're good movies but uh, apparently he did them to each their own but I like both films and I, I was at a Days of the Dead and literally like, I was just kind of surprised like everybody would just like randomly that's like the joke of the weekend was you know well it's gotta be better than Jurassic World and you're like wait what? Jurassic World's great apparently not people people were shitting on it so yeah there's that uh, for fans of the X-Files uh, it was uh, announced over the week that uh, the lone gunman are uh, coming back, which I honestly have yet to finish the original X Files. Like I've seen a shitload of the episodes, uh, never consecutively. I don't got, I don't got the first three seasons, but I watched a shit. Like I mean, it's just one of those things where I'd watch it, like you know, where it came on the Sci Fi Channel uh, on the weekends, like Saturday, you know, evening, it come on, like you know, on Fox or whatever, just in syndication. And uh, during its initial run on uh, Sunday nights, I would check it out, like it was part of that whole like Sunday night block. 
And so I was always a big X-Files fan, but I never did finish it. Like, once the others came in, I unfortunately kind of wrote it off. I was like, I'm done. Like, you know, Mulder's gone, and then Scully left, too. And you're like, what the fuck? Are we just left with... And I love Robert Patrick. Great actor. Uh, I don't know who the other chick was, but I was like, I, I, it was just, it was over for me, and I, I did get out. So I had no idea, but apparently, spoiler alert, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might as well just cut out right now. But apparently, the lone gunman get killed. Like, they got wiped out in an episode. Like, I was unaware of that. I was like, son of a bitch! Well, uh, apparently they're coming back, so... There you go. So, if you thought they were dead, nah, they're not. They're not dead at all. Alright, so here's another uh, scrape the bottom of the barrel. Uh, I was uh, checking out this website, and they uh, did a big review. Like, a big fucking spread. Like, and it's weird, because it's on a... And I'm not trying to bash the, the net or the uh, page, because actually, I go to the page quite a bit. Uh, just kind of filling gaps sometimes, but uh, horrornews.net, which they have like one of the best titles, like the best like web address, but there's no news hardly. Like it's mostly just reviews. It's, it, it's crazy. You think horror review, but I guess I was taken. Uh, so there's uh, the last three items are all news from there, but yeah, mostly reviews. Ah, I just kind of feel like you know, if you're if you're fucking, you, you get that name. Horrornews.net. You should really try to deliver on the news. Even if you're just doing what everybody else is doing, just kind of regurgitating the same bullshit that everybody else is anyways, that would be better than what they're doing. Like, they're just throwing out like, these obscure, random reviews or whatever. But uh, the one I checked out was, uh, I, I mentioned it uh, a couple, a few weeks back, yeah, a couple months ago. Raiders of the Lost Shark. Because I thought that was just fucking hilarious, that title. And, uh, yeah, they did a full featured fucking thing on this thing. And apparently it was, it was shit, uh, which I love. I'm a sucker for really cheesy B creature features, so uh, it definitely be something at my alley. But uh, the one thing I thought was funny was there was like, you would just assume with the title like Greater Than Lost Shark, there would be some kind of Indiana Jones parody. There's none. Shocked me. I know, guys, fans scraping the bottom of the barrel on this one. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, but the one article they, they did have that I thought was very interesting, and it was just kind of weird because I actually did my top three last week. It was kind of similar to this. It was a uh, top 10 uh, horror sequels that uh, they should have never made. And very cool uh, little article there. I highly recommend you guys check that out. Uh, their number one kind of disappointed me, but I haven't seen it. So, I mean, maybe it was one of those things. But their number one was uh, a tie, but from the same franchise. Uh, the Return of the Living Dead movies. The Rave to the Grave and Necropolis. Put together. That was their, the worst sequel that should have never been made. Which, I'm a, I was never a big Return of the Living Dead fan. The first Return of the Living Dead, solid. Uh, two was okay. I thought three sucked. I know it has a huge fucking following. Like, they're like, it's a cult following bullshit, motherfucker. I've, everybody I've ever met was just like, part three, aww, 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 aww. So, I, I, I never got the appeal of it. But anyways, uh, but yeah, and then they did like a lot of, like, you know, a lot of strength of video shit. And of course, Rage to the Grave and Necropolis was two of them that I remember hearing about. But once again, I'm just like, eh. So I never checked them out, but yeah, they uh, they did top the list. So you want to see the rest of that top ten? You know, shoot on over to hornews.net, wade through some reviews, and then jump right into that article. And finally, uh, hitting off this uh, mediocre uh, Monday here, we got uh, apparently a new format they're trying. Actually, is a uh, virtual reality horror movies, where basically uh, you know you put on the um, Oculus headset type thing, but they're actually movies that are designed just for the virtual reality experience, which I think is very interesting, and the fact that they're actually, they're pushing it like, you know, it, less game-ish, and of course there are a million games now that are being, you know, kind of catered to this virtual reality experience, uh, but they're actually doing movies that are just that, like they're made to just be kind of watched and you just, you know, whatever, and uh, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting myself, I'm really kind of curious, like, I don't know, cinema's always evolving, one way or another, and I just, I, 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 you're always looking for like, what's that next thing, what is that next leap, or whatever, and I know like, you know, 4D was becoming a big thing, and I think, oh, actually over Japan, it, it actually is a huge thing right now, where you're basically in the theme park type, you know, the chairs are wobbling and shit, and that's actually how they watch like legitimate film, they're just like, oh, this is how we watch movies over here, you sit, you strap, strap down, and like, mist will hit you, and the smells, and you'll fucking shake and rattle around, and you're watching the Avengers, and that's how you watch the Avengers, and it's like it's a it's a legit thing. And so I, I just it, I, it is interesting to me. Like I, as much as I am a purist, and I would just love to be like, hey, just throw a fucking 
film up there. I'm always in for the gimmicks. 3D or, you know, if you're going to put like the tingler in the chair, fuck it, I'll watch it. I'm always down for that crazy experience. So, uh, virtual reality horror, I think that'd be a really freaky thing if it's done right. Uh, I don't know, I mean, you guys actually played like any of the VR uh, video games, but like, uh, or the, you know, the, the type of, you know, the, that simulation where you're just kind of like first person. Games like Slender Man, I think, are just creepy as fuck. Uh, the little knockoff Slenderina, I thought that was scary as shit. Like, I don't know, like, I'm literally, like, I can't play it in, in the dark by myself. Like, I got, like, you know, I have people around me, and I, it's daytime, and I'm playing, and I'll still jump on a little bitch. I'm like, oh, fucking shit, really, I was just, I was turned around. And my screen is, like, this big, like I said, as, I, I'm looking at this, that's what I'm looking at. Right there, just down here. Oh, fuck, you know. So, I can imagine, like, after watching videos of, like, uh, they did the, uh, Into the Further 4D experience with the, uh, Insidious Chapter 3, and I'm like, dude, that'd be fucking intense as fuck, because, I mean, you, you're, you're, it's all right, I don't know, it just, it is, it's made for jump scares, it's pretty much, and as much as I don't think jump scares is, like, I don't know, I, I usually frown upon movies for just throwing nothing but jump scares in their film, something like this, I would love to see, like, I don't know, I think I just take the terror to a new level, and I don't know, so, uh, yeah, I want to let you guys think on any of these news stories, or shit, I missed the entire week of news, so here's something you guys want to talk about, hit me up. Uh, like I said, fans out, but I definitely keep my phone with me, and I always try to, you know, keep in touch on social media. So, uh, yeah, hit me up, you know, any uh, thoughts on these stories or anything else. Boom. All right, guys, fans.